allowing yourself to not be tied to like defining yourself by whatever thing it is you know like whether it's decorating whatever like if it brings you joy then then do it and it doesn't matter if it's something that didn't bring you joy before or the reverse you know like something that used to does but just like listening to yourself of like that this is not the thing that I actually need right yes. now. Cause, well, and you and I have talked about that know. a lot, right? In terms of like movement and energy management and the times when like, where's the line of, oh, I'm feeling really tired. I should work out. It'll help me feel better versus I'm feeling really tired. I should rest and that's going to help me feel better. And that it's tricky sometimes to know where that line is and sometimes you only know it know yeah. it when you go and work out and you're you realize you should have rested or you rest yeah. and realize you should have worked out but like giving yourself permission to just listen you know, to what makes the most sense in the moment and revise that decision every single time right rather than having rules yeah. around well when i'm tired i always force myself or i always rest right yeah and it's like i feel like in the mistakes and i say mistakes with let's say quotation marks they're not actual mistakes because they're the moments that you actually learn. Like when you do the thing and then afterwards yes. you're like, oh shoot, I should have done the opposite yes. thing. That's where that learning, because then you're like, oh, like I wonder what the clues were for that. Or you like pick something and then you start doing it and you're like, wait, this doesn't, this doesn't feel right. Is that, and you allow yourself to be yeah. like, I picked the wrong thing. And you switch gears. Yeah. Like that's where all that learning happens. Because if you always do it and always know, yeah. then you don't actually learn the difference.